My name is Marissa, and this is The Umbrian Zoist. Welcome back to my channel for anyone who is a subscriber or has watched one of my videos before. If you're new to my channel, thank you for joining. I talk about fabric sewing, sewing patterns, and uh, thank you if, you if you like that sort of thing. It'd be great if you could subscribe. Um, but anyways, today I wanted to record a video to talk about all of the things I plan to sew this month for some of the challenges that are running. Now I do have my notes here so that I don't make any errors. But um, on this video, I'm going to talk about three challenges that I'm going to be taking part in. The first one is the t-shirt for summer pattern or uh, challenge, which is hashtag t-shirt, the number four summer 2022. And it's being run by So Joey. I'll put everything in the description box so you can just click it and uh, get uh, to where you need to go easily. Um, and then I'm also going to take part in the So Fruity 2022 challenge run by Blossom Sandwich. And the last challenge I'm going to take part in is the He Made June 2022 run by the lovely Adam Sows and one Lisa Show. So I will start off and talk a little bit about the t-shirt challenge. I'm going to uh, make two t-shirts, hopefully, um, with two new sewing patterns. So the first one is a Love Notions pattern called the Viva, Vivace, Vivace, don't know how to pronounce it. And obviously I'm gonna make the t-shirt. Uh, it is a dolman um, sleeve, so pretty simple. And it looks like it has a little pleat running down the front, which you can kind of see here, uh, which should be interesting. And it, um, as with all of the Love Notion patterns, has a fantastic size range. They go from a full bust in the extra small of 33 inches, waist of 26 and a half, and hip of 35.5, all the way up to a 5X, which is a bust of 57.5, waist of 49.5, and hip of 59.5. I plan to make the extra large on the top and then grade down to the large, basically, under the arms because I find that I have very broad shoulders but then if I carry on it's kind of tent like so I'm going to give that a try um, I am going to use some fabric from my stash which was a fabric I received in a fabric surprise box which is why there are some random holes um, but I believe I have enough here to make this top so this is just looks like a cotton jersey it's like a light gray with um darker gray triangles not necessarily a fabric i would have purchased like selected but i figure since i'm trying the pattern out for the first time that could be a good way to use this fabric so yes i plan to use this gray with the dolman by vachi dolman top Okay, so the second one I would like to make for the t-shirt for summer challenge, 2022 challenge, is another new to me, but also another Love Notions pattern called the Rockford Raglan. Now I plan to make the simple, straightforward one there. And again, good size. Um, you can see here on this, you've got loads of options on this pattern. And I will definitely try some of the others. Um, but I'm going to be using um, some, I don't want to say scraps, but smaller cuts um, to make that. Again, comes in same size range as the last, so I won't repeat that. Um, but I am going to make that out of these two pieces of fabric. Okay, so this is a soft and lovely cotton jersey. Again, fabric surprise box. And this is also um, from the fabric surprise box, but I thought those would look nice together. Now this I have a lot more of, so I'm gonna do the, the body in this and then the arms in this. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that should make a nice t-shirt um, in this Rockford Raglan. And I will probably do the same. I will probably do the extra large and then grade to the large, um, but we shall see. So hopefully I can get both of those done. Now the next challenge I'm going to make an item for is the So Fruity 2022. And um, I actually have one piece of fabric that's been in my stash for years. It is a, um, it is a uh, crafting 
cotton but it is this sort of tealy color with these strawberries in gold and I have had this for years. It's from Joanne Fabrics when I lived in the US, which is, I moved here almost four years ago to Italy. So you can see how old that is. <clears throat> and I am going to make the, my second version of the Palermo, which I'm gonna make the shirt, as you can see here. And this is in the So Beautiful Itch to Stitch, the maker, the, the founder, the designer of Itch to Stitch. And um, yeah, I made this before. I made this for one of the challenge challenges. Don't remember which. Um, and I made it in a really pretty um, sort of yellow and gray sort of leopard print. And this time I'm going to make, um, I, I felt that the it fit perfectly on the top, but I felt that I could have taken it in a little bit on the side. So I'm going to do that this time around. Um, I should have enough of this fabric. As with all quilting cottons, it's quite narrow, but I seem to have quite a lot. And I thought that would be quite summery in that nice shirt. Okay, and then the last challenge is he made June 2022. Now I've got um, a couple of men in my life. I've got my husband and my son, and I have been attempting to make a hoodie for my husband for a while. And I had it all cut out, was ready to go a few weeks ago, and then I ran out of fabric, essentially. So I've just placed an order. It arrives tomorrow for some additional fabric. And I am making the Sinclair Patterns Monterey Zip-Up Raglan. So basically, everything was cut out, and I just didn't have enough fabric for the hood. So that is arriving. So I'll get that made up. Um, this is a lovely um, pattern. I made the tall size um, because my husband has a long body and is six foot two as well. And again, this they do a pretty good size range with Sinclair patterns, which I will tell you. Um, so it starts extra small as a chest of 34.6, waist of 30.7, and hips of 36.2, going up to a chest of 48.8, waist of 44.9, and a hip of 51.2. So I'm really hoping that this fits in the size that I've selected, which I cannot remember what that is at this moment. But um, this I will definitely get sewn up. And then the last item is for my son, and it is a robe. So I found um, a really cute free robe tutorial. Um, let's see if I can actually find it. Yeah, it was an online tutorial. Um, where did I get it? I have to put everything below because I don't actually know. I think I just sort of copy and pasted the directions onto a Word document and printed out so it would be easier. Um, but you can see it's a hooded robe and I am making it out of this gorgeous waffle knit, which is super soft, pretty thick, nice and warm. And um, I've got a big chunk of it left because I actually have to cut out the facing um, that goes all the way around. Um, and I will do that when I have made up the item, or it's called the, the band, I should say the band. Um, so yeah, so that's the last item that I'm gonna make for my son. So I'm, try, I'm gonna just try to stay focused on these items um, so that I can try to get them done in the month of June. Um, I do get a little sort of distracted and I'm sort of all over the place when it comes to sewing things. And so I feel like if I focus on these things, I will be maybe more successful, although that is quite a number of things. It's two or five items. So we shall see, watch the space. But anyways, those are all of the things I have planned for the rest of June to take part in the three challenges, which are hashtag t-shirt for summer 2022, run by So Joey, hashtag So Fruity 2022, run by Blossom Sandwich, and the last is He Made June 2022, which is Adam Sos and One Lisa Show. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are taking part in the challenges. I would love to hear in the comments below what you're making, if you're taking part, if there's any other challenges that you can tell me about to further distract me uh, because I'm always interested in hearing about those. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. And um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. But uh, thanks again, and I hope you're all well, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.